Hi guys, I'm Karina and welcome to my channel. I am super excited to shoot today's video because I've been wanting to give my balcony a makeover for the longest time ever. It's summertime and my husband and I actually spend a lot of time in our balcony. So I wanted to make this space a little more nicer and cozier before it actually starts getting cold in Toronto again. So most of the stuff that I purchased is from Ikea which will be linked in the description box below. And I also did a few DIY projects so watch out for that later on in this video. I wanted to give this balcony a makeover on a budget because I did not want to spend so much money since I only have two more months to actually enjoy this weather and spend some time in the balcony. So first things first, I'll have to start cleaning this balcony because it's super dirty and we moved into this apartment in February and it was super cold so we couldn't even step outside and I'm not even sure about the last time that the space was actually clean. I used a Windex and paper towels to clean off all the window panels. The balcony railing was really dirty as well so I had to clean that up and then I poured some really hot water on the floor and I mopped it up with my Swiffer. So I got a box of mirrors from the dollar store and they were super cheap. I got four mirrors for two dollars and I wanted to place them somewhere in the balcony so now I just need to figure out where to place them and how to make it look prettier. At first I just wanted to decide how to place these mirrors on this wall so that I can make a really nice wall art to hang there. In order to shoot this video, I just wanted to place these post-its on the mirror so that you don't see the camera or my face while I'm making it. I took this cardboard from a cereal box and I'm just going to stick the mirror on top of that. Once the glue dries off, cut the cardboard by leaving half an inch border around the mirror. Take some yarn and cut at least 20 to 30 pieces of string which are 20 inches long. Take one of those strings as your main string and start attaching all the other ones on that just like this. You just have to make a loop and put it under the main string and pull the two ends through the loop and then push it closer to the previous one. Now if you're wondering how long you should make this, just measure the side of the mirror that you're using and make it as long as that measurement. Once you're done making one of these, make another one for the other side of the mirror. Now use some heavy duty glue to attach that panel to the right and left side of the mirror. I have this fluorescent green pipe cleaner and I really wish I had a black one, but since I did not, I used the same black yarn that I used earlier to cover this up. Once you're done covering the entire pipe cleaner, just fold it in half. Now make a hole on the top corner of the mirror, so I'm just using this stapler remover to make this hole. Once again, just use some glue to stick the pipe cleaner on the cardboard piece just like this. Take an additional piece of string and put it through the hole that we made earlier. Once you've passed the yarn through the hole, just tie a knot and hang it on the wall so you can cut the fringe. I'm just using this hook that has a sticker on the back and I'm just going to stick this on the glass wall. As for the railing, I wanted to make it visually appealing because it literally comes at our eye level when we're sitting down. So now I'm going to show you how to make these really cute plant holders to hang on the railings. So I'm just going to use this base that I found at a dollar store and I'm just going to use this to hang my plants. I'm going to start off by using 8 pieces of the black yarn which are 25 inches long and I'm just going to make a knot on one end. I'm going to place the knot on the base of the vase and I'm going to divide the 8 strings in 4 different sections. Now I'll measure one of the sections and decide where I want the first knot to be and I'll make a knot there and I'll use the same measurements to make a knot on the other 3 sections as well. Now I'll make 3 more knots at a distance of 2 inches away from the first knot. Now I'll put this back on the vase and tie a knot on the two strings that were remaining. 
Now finally we have to create a third line of knots which is 2 inches away from the second line just like this. I'm using some scotch tape to hang the plant holder inside the railing and I'm using a lot of tape just to make sure that it doesn't fall off with the weight of the plant. I'm using this fake plant that I got from Ikea just for $5 and I absolutely love how this looks. As for the flooring, this concrete looks really bad and I wanted to cover it up with a carpet and this can also add a pop of color to the entire space. I bought this rug from Ikea just for $30 and it does an amazing job in covering up the concrete and it adds an amazing pop of color to the space. As for the furniture, I got this really nice table from Ikea and I also got a set of chairs as well. These were super affordable, the table was only $12 and the two chairs were $15 each. Just to add more color to the space, I also purchased this cushion cover from Ikea along with a cushion filler that you see right here. balcony is ever complete without fairy lights. I got these fairy lights from Ikea which have a plug point so it's the best. I don't even need to use any batteries and these were $15 and I'm just using some scotch tape to stick them along the railing. I bought this set of table mats from H&M Home just for $2 since it was on sale. So I'm just going to place one of them on this table and I'm going to place this tea light holder that I got from Ikea on top of that. I found this really tall glass vase at a thrift store for $10 and I had these fairy lights from prop shop when I was in India so I'm just going to place the fairy lights inside the vase. I'm going to place two branches that I purchased from Ikea inside the vase as well. I found this really cute lantern at Ikea so I'm going to place that right next to the vase. I'm going to use this fake candle and put it inside the lantern. I found a really cute lantern at Ikea and I'm really hoping that it works because it's solar LED operated. Since I can't make a hole on the ceiling, I just use some scotch tape and invisible yarn to make a loop and stick it on the ceiling. And finally, I just hung the lamp on the yarn. Sadly, that did not work out because the solar LED panel was not going to operate since there is no sunlight in my balcony. But it did have a section where I can put in a battery cell. But that part just was an opening. I tried really hard. But anyway, I'm going to have to return this back to IKEA. But that's completely all right because I love the way my balcony turned out. It looks super cute. And I'm going to reveal it to you guys in 3, 2, 1. I'm in love with my balcony and as soon as it was done, it was time for me to have my dinner along with a glass of wine with my husband here and enjoy this beautiful view. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Have a wonderful rest of your day and you'll see me very soon in my next one. Bye!